Say hello to the new SwimOutlet.com. Enhanced navigation, larger, higher resolution imagery, more filtering and search capability so you can find what you need faster. As always, low price guarantee and free shipping on $49. The redesigned SwimOutlet.com. Dive in, say hi. This is the Morning Swim Show for Thursday, July 10th, 2014. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. We're continuing our 11-day series of interviews on the show today with a chat in the Finise Monitor with the fastest female high school 200 IMer from last season. Ella Easton is continuing to impress in the event, making her one of the ladies we picked as someone to watch in 2016. And let's bring in Ella now from her home in Irvine, California. Hi Ella, it's great to see you. How are you today? Hi, good. How are you? I'm doing excellent, thank you. So, you live in Irvine where juniors and seniors uh, will be taking place next month. Um, is Irvine ready for all these swimmers to come and invade the city for a few weeks? I think so. Um, they always do a really good job hosting everyone and the swimmers always like it at um, Woolit. So. It's exciting. I'm glad that it's in the area again, and I'm looking forward to nationals. And you get to sleep in your own bed, too. Yes, that is one of the best parts. <laughs> I'm sure you, if you had to be a part of the lobby to get Irvine to have nationals there every year, I'm sure you would, you would be uh, really happy. I'm sure a lot of people yes. would be happy. It's a great, great pool, great city. You're, you're right. They do put on a, a good show there. So yes. will you be doing both junior nationals and senior nationals or just one? I will be swimming at the tail end of Junior Nationals to kind of um, get the first race jitters out and then swim a full meet at Nationals. Okay. What events will you be doing at Senior Nationals? Um, we actually haven't quite decided yet. Obviously, I'm going to continue with my 400 IM and 200 IM, and then I'll get to play around with my other races to see how the schedule lines up and which ones I want to do. Well, it's really interesting that... You your primary events are the individual medleys. In some cases, you know, some people like Caitlin Leverins, Elizabeth Beisel, put them aside. You know, they're stroke specialists, and then they're also very good at the IM. Um, why do you why do you think that you're so good at the IMs and just and obviously still pretty good at just equally against all across all four strokes? Um, personally, I think that. I'm pretty strong in all my strokes. I don't have a stroke specialty. When I go into a meet, I usually plan on um, doing the best in the IMs. And then each stroke kind of comes along. Each season, I tend to be a better at one um, stroke than the other, and it goes back and forth. Um, I think that being decent at every single part of the IM is really important, and I tend to do that pretty well, I think. I don't have a really weak link in my IM, just none of them are super strong. Well, that's good. And to not have a weak link, I think, is what's make, helping making you one of the best IMers in, in high school. So I think it's to your advantage that you continue to swim it that way. Yes. Um, going back to Senior Nationals, um, how many people from your team, SoCal Aquatics, will be going with you? Um, right now, we have three people going to the meet total, my sister Emily and Dylan Payne who is going to be a sophomore at Duke. So there's just three of us. Um, the majority of the kids that are swimming at the national level are swimming at junior nationals the week before. Okay, so there'll be a really big presence of juniors. Yes. Well, that'll be great. and I'm sure they'll be glad to have you on the deck with them even if it's just for a couple of days or a day or two. Um, Talk about high school here. Uh, this high school season, uh, you're, again, the top-ranked 200 IMer in the country, which you were also last year after setting the National Independent High School record with a 155.15, uh, I believe. Um, this year, you were 156.54 in the 200 IM at the CIF Championships. Now, as I, that's a second and a half slower than your uh, 200 IM for last year. So were you just swimming through the, the championship meet this year? Um, the season's been very interesting. Um, I had a bit of a shoulder issue that set me back a little bit, um, farther than I wanted to. But um, I rested a little bit for CAF, but I wasn't completely ready to race. I did my best, and I was 
really, I really surprised myself. I didn't expect to go quite that fast, so it was actually a good swim for me. Um, a lot of people were kind of saying, oh, you added a second and a half. Is that, like, not good for you? And I was actually really happy with the time. I think that under the circumstances that I was going through, that that race was um, better than I planned it to be. So it was actually kind of nice that I did go 156 and I wasn't too far off of my time. Um, dealing with the shoulder issue, I didn't want to push it too much just because I knew that my goals were a little bit further than high school swimming. It, they, um, high school is important to me, but I really wanted to make sure that I didn't hurt myself more to the point where I wasn't able to swim later, like this summer. So. Yeah, it makes sense. So how is the shoulder now? Is it fully healed? You still got a little bit more rehab to go? Um, it's improving. Um, I think that it's something that I'm going to have to deal with throughout my career. Um, nothing really serious. It's just something that pops up just because of the way that I swim and the way that my body's built, so. Uh, well, do you, has the word surgery ever come up to try to keep it from being an issue? Do you think you'll ever need that? Um, I'm hoping not, but right now it's not, I'm not even close to have to having surgery, so I'm really thankful for that. Yeah, just keep up with the, with the rehab. It's all you yeah. have to do. Um, well, as I said at the top of the show, you're one of the big, uh, people we picked in our July issue of Swimming World Magazine is one to watch in 2016. Have you started looking ahead to Olympic trials two years from now? Um, I think that's the natural thing to do, just um, having qualified in 2012 and being at the point I am now. Um, I'm really trying not to put too much pressure on myself looking forward to that meet and like taking it day by day because I think that everything that's happened in the last like year for me has really helped me grow as a swimmer and a person so I'm trying to take things as it comes and um, like keep my eyes on 2016 but not look too far ahead where I'm kind of missing things happening right now. Yeah, so. yeah definitely want to just first deal with 2014. <laughs> exactly. Um, Talk about your IM training. Now, you said you don't really have a stroke specialty. So um, how much do you work on each stroke in a typical workout? Um, I think that the majority of my training comes from freestyle. I would guess that most other teams do that too. But um, other than that, all my strokes are done at an equal amount. Um, I do a little bit more butterfly than I would the rest of my strokes. Um, other than freestyle. Freestyle is the majority. And then other than that, I try to separate it as equally as I can because I, I try not to put too much focus on one and then forget about the others. So. Yeah, it definitely makes sense. Well, when you go to college, um, not this fall, but next fall, uh, you know, obviously the coaches are going to be probably trying to pick out a specialty stroke for you. I mean, you got to do three events at the NCAA, so you just have the 204 and I am, and you got to do another one. Which of those strokes would you say if you were to pick one as one you'd like to maybe branch out into in college would be the one to pick? Um, I think that going towards the direction of freestyle would be good. I would love to be a part of the relays in college. And to do that, I would have to either do like the 200 or the 100 freestyle. So right now, it looks like the 200 would be um, a stronger event for me. So right now, that's what I would choose if I... Um, could right now. Okay. Well, you, like we said, focus on this year. College is still a long way away. Yeah. <laughs> long way away. Well, um, I know you got a lot to do to get ready for um, for juniors and seniors. It's just right around the corner. But before we let you go, Ella, we want to submit you to our final five. These are five questions we ask our guests on the morning swim show. So, first question for you is: If you could trade lives with any swimming celebrity for a day, who would it be? Ooh, that's a good question. Um, you know what? One of my good family friends, Caitlin Sanino, most people know who she is. Um, she's having the opportunity right now to work with the Jesse Reese Foundation, um, all, formerly known as um, NIGU. So it's, it stands for Never Ever Give Up. Um, a girl that swam on the Mission Viejo Natadors um, had terminal brain cancer and passed away. And her family is continuing um, her promise of sending joy jars to kids in hospitals. And um, Caitlin is continuing to work with them now. So I would love the opportunity to kind of share 
my message as a swimmer, but then also be able to give back to the community like she does and do it all the time. Yeah. So she like has a lot of fun doing it and finds a lot of joy in um, making kids happy that really don't have a reason to be when they're stuck in the hospital. So That's a good answer. Caitlin is a wonderful person. She um, is. If you could trade lives for a day with a non-swimming sports celebrity, who would it be? <sighs> That's a hard one. Um, I think that playing beach volleyball would be a lot of fun. So maybe like Missy Mae Trainer or something like that. Yep. Um, if I ever like go to the beach, that's something that I like to do. So I think that would be a lot of fun. Yeah, maybe one day you'll be able to meet her. I'm sure um, she probably is out on the beach a lot, even though I think she's retired. But I think she, you could yes. probably see her out there at some point in your life. <laughs> yeah. Um, what year of your life would you most like to relive? Um, I think last year. Last year, 2013, was by far the best year of my life. Um, after I switched teams, I made some really good friends, and I really had a lot of fun swimming. Um, I was A fire kind of like reignited inside of me, and I really enjoyed every single day training. And then being able to travel to Dubai and Tokyo and J or in Beijing, um, it was just awesome. I I think that's the year that I would like to relive again if I had the chance because it was just a lot of fun. Yeah, sounds like it. What's your favorite movie? Ooh, um, I think that other than well, my two favorite movies, I can't really choose. The Blind Side is one of my favorite movies. And then I have, like, an obsession with Frozen, the Disney movie. <laughs> okay, well, maybe one day you'll have to make a viral video of Let It Go. <laughs> I don't think that'll happen. Well, you never know. Those things are real popular. You can make, you can make a big name for yourself. <laughs> All right, last question for you, Ella. Which season do you like the most, summer or winter? Um, I think that summer is my favorite because um, not having to deal with quite as much schoolwork is really nice and being able to focus a little bit more on swimming. Um, I like long course and short course the same amount. I don't favor one over the other. So training is pretty similar for me. Uh, but then also getting the chance to compete to go on travel trips during the summer is really fun. So summer is better. Yep, it is in many ways. Well, Ella, thank you so much for joining us today. Congratulations on a great um, high school season. We're looking forward to um, seeing how you do in Irvine. We're looking forward to being out there as well. So um, good luck, and we'll see you on deck. Thank you. All right, and thanks to you as well for joining us for today's show. Be sure to come back tomorrow when we'll talk to one of the top 50 freestylers in high school, Casey Schmidt. I'm Jeff Cummings, and we'll see you next time.